Howdy folks, it's Troy with VTwinsTheVH.com. I'm here, I'm going to do a little project with you. I've got a set of tins here off a of Sportster that I bought. I like to paint my tins, because I do a lot of these Sportsters, because they're cheap and usually people are done with them by the time I get a hold of them. Um, so what I do is I buy a Sportster, I do it all over, I repaint a set of tins and put it on. But I've done so many of them now, what I have is I have sets of tins hanging around all over the place. So what I've started to do is prep my tins and paint them, and then when I find a bike I want to do, I'll buy the bike, do the engine and frame and chassis and all, and then I can just pop my fresh paint right on and I'm good to go. The other thing that's nice about having extra tins is I can completely change a bike in a few hours just by changing the fender, the tank, and the rear fender, it looks like a completely different bike without really doing anything else to it. Uh, when you get into custom paint, it becomes very particular for people. Some people will love it, other people will hate it, and some people will be like, man, it doesn't really do anything for me. So it's really easy to paint a bike black, white, red, and you know, pretty much everybody's okay with it. I kind of like to jazz things up. It's not for everybody, but when, that, when you find that person that really likes that bike, they really like the bike, they're committed to it, so it's nice. So what I got here is I got a set of Sportster tins, and um, I've got this front fender, and if you look here, what I have is the fender is riveted. And uh, all the stock fenders are like that. I tend to not like these rivets because they do cause problems for me. Uh, what happens is when you sand it or you buff it, you always want to be going through on these rivets, and it just doesn't really have a clean look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind inside of here, and I'm gonna weld my bracket to my fender. Once I do that, I can grind these rivets right off and I can spot weld these spots right here and my, um, my fender will be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, work on that a little bit. I'll show you how that goes and then we'll move on down the line to the tank. Okay folks, I'm back. And uh, what I did was, that ground lead off of there. I took and I ground the inside of the fender here where the bracket touches the fender. So I ground that down. Now I'm going to take my MIG welder and I'm going to put a series of tacks on both sides welding this up nice and solid. Then I'll clean up these other areas and I'll, I'll get it over here in, in, uh, in this area here. Then the bracket is welded to the fender. Then we'll grind these rivets off and we'll weld that, weld that solid and then we'll be good to go on this fender. So what I did was I fired up my MIG welder and I MIG welded the bracket to the fender like I said. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my grinder, I'm going to grind these rivets off. I'm going to grind the rivet areas off the top, and I'm going to take my MIG welder, and I'm going to fill in those four holes, and then we'll see what we have. All right, folks, so I ground down those areas, and as you can see, I've spot welded where my rivets are going to go. So now I'm going to grind that smooth. little item of note here is if you see these little spots right here, I don't know if you can see it on the, on the camera, but these spots are where my welds penetrated into my fender. So when I see that, I know I got a good solid weld and this bracket isn't gonna come off. This gap right in here, lots of times guys will weld this right here and then just smooth that over. If you want a really smooth look, that's a good idea. I have done it in the past and I kinda like it to look like this. It gives it a little bit more of an original look. Also, you'll notice there's a little hole in the back of the fender. Um, you could weld that up for a custom type of application. I leave it open. Some guys like to put a little mud guard thing that hangs down off of here. It keeps a lot of the crap off the bottom of your bike. I figure it's not really hurting anybody if it's there. Um, if it's not there and a guy wants to put something like that on there, then he's got to redrill the hole and on the bike. It'd be kind of a pain. So I'm just going to leave that. It saves me a little bit of work. I'm going to get these ground down. And then at that point, our fender is basically ready to be stripped and prepped for paint. Then we'll move on to the gas tank.